the Mount of Esau may be cut off by slaughter. This is what the Most High God said is coming to Esau. He said every one of them are going to be cut off by slaughter. Why don't they read that at any church? Because they're lying. They're just lying at all the churches to collect that money. That's about prosperity gospel. But Christ came into this world to give testimony of the truth. And that's what we're going to do. We're giving the truth. No lies. For but, thy violence against thy brother Jacob. And it's for the violence against Jacob. All these killings. All these hangings. And this is, it's all clear. They keep shooting our people down unarmed. God has been watching. He's watching it as we speak. He says, our witness is in heaven, is what he said through the Levitical priest, yo, and our witness is in heaven. But guess what? You guys, is, your, wit, your record is up there just like ours. He's watching you guys too. Go ahead. Shame shall cover thee, and thou shalt be cut off forever. He says you guys are going to get cut off forever when he's done. That's what Christ is coming back to go to uh, uh, Luke 6, uh, 1 and 68. I'm sorry for it. Go to, go to Luke. Let him have this one, Luke 1 and 68. Luke 1 verse 68. What are we going to be saved from? Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, for he hath visited and redeemed his people, and hath raised up a horn of salvation for us in the house of his servant David, as he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since the world began, that we should be saved from our enemies and from the hand of all that hate us. And this is what Christ is saving us from, from the hands of all that hate us. This is what he's coming to save us from, all the people that hate us here. Isaiah 45, out. verse 17, But Israel shall be saved in the Lord with an everlasting salvation. Ye shall not be ashamed, nor confounded world without end. And it's going to be that everlasting kingdom that Christ talked about and that David talked about. Out. Matthew 26, verse 6, Now when Yahweh was in Bethany in the house of Simon the leper, there came unto him a woman having an alabaster box of very precious ointment and poured it on his head as he sat at me. But when his disciples saw it, they had indignation, saying, To what purpose is this waste? For this ointment might have been sold for much and given to the poor. When Yahweh understood it, he said unto them, Watch shall be the woman, for she hath wrought a good work upon me. For ye have the poor always with you, but me ye have not always. For in that she hath poured this ointment on my body, she did it for my burial. Verily I say unto you, wheresoever this gospel shall be preached in the whole world, there shall so this that this woman hath done be told from memorial of her. And with that, we're going to give all glory and honor to Yahweh, Bashem, Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai, Kwam Yasharala! Kwam Yasharala!